What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is Codexual and today we're going to be showing you how to reset other known as reformat your computer. Now if you have a Windows 10 machine, this will work great with you. Um, there will be another alternative if you have like a Windows 7 or Windows 8, 8.1. Um, we're going to be downloading a Microsoft own software that will allow you to download the Windows 10 and you can reformat or upgrade from there. So without further ado, if you guys can do me one big happy favor is to hit the big red button that says subscribe. Make sure you get the bell notification turned on, such as the post notifications. Every time that I upload a video or a live stream, you'll be notified um, whenever there is activity going on with the channel. So, um, and if you additionally need help, check the descriptions or the pinned comments. Um, I live stream on mixer.com slash codexual, come through on that. And if you have like any technical questions or just need a place to hang out with, definitely, definitely, definitely come over towards the live stream or even on our Discord. So with that all out of the way, let's get straight to the point. So you wanna click on the Windows tab button right here and you're gonna type in reset my PC or this PC. And it will prompt up this recovery then reset this PC. So you're gonna click on get started and it will say keep my files or remove everything. This should be pretty self-explanatory. Keep your files as your photos, your videos, important documents, MP3 files, all that other stuff. Or if you wanna quickly um, just remove everything because you already have everything backed up, I would prefer this one because it will reset everything and act like it will be brand new, such as if your computer is running a bit sluggish or if your computer is infected with some type of malware and you're just, you know, uh, too poor like me to afford for antivirus, um, I would go down this route. But if you have some type of malware um, infection going on with your computer, I wouldn't essentially choose this. I would download a clean ISO on another computer, install that on a thumb drive, which I'll show you here in a second. So your choice if you wanna keep the files or remove everything. So let's just say, let's remove everything. Uh, this won't take too long. Um, then this will pop up, just remove my files. And this is a quicker but less secure um, way for, for example, if you choose this method and you were selling your laptop, right? People who will receive that laptop in the mail, they could run recovery data software, try to see what was previously on the computer before you reset it. Um, so you want to choose the remove and clean the drive. This will take some time, maybe half the day, but it will take some time to completely clean out your entire hard drive So and reinstall Windows. So your choice. Um, but uh, essentially once you click on one of the two, it will reinstall Windows and remember how you first open up the computer from the store or reinstalled Windows, it'll ask, hey, what's your username? Sign in here, sign in there. What would you like to personalize on towards your computer? It'll bring up that screen. So I don't feel like I should have to waste your guys' time um, when it goes through that. So if you guys remember, it's like when you first open up your uh, computer for the first time, Cortana pops up and it'll ask you a few questions and what's your username. Anyways, I'm repeating myself. So. To the next point, if you want a clean, complete install, you can get Windows 10 for free by Googling Windows ISO, and it'll take you to the first thing. It'll say, download Windows 10 disk ISO. Um, you don't need a disk, right? You don't need a DVD burner. You can just plug in a USB thumbstick and uh, it will work. So you'll download the tool, and this is what will pop up. Uh, let me go to the tool because I already have it downloaded. This is what will pop up. And we'll go ahead and uh, run it as administrator. Let's say getting a few things ready. And um, just uh, give it a moment. It will detect if there is a thumb drive. And if there is a thumb drive, get anywhere between a minimum of eight gigabytes on that stick. So the higher, the better, the more confident you are, but it will remove everything that's on that thumb drive. So make sure that you don't have anything important on that thumb drive. So you're gonna hit accept and it'll ask, hey, would you like to download the Windows ISO file, which you could essentially burn it to a disk, or would you like to copy it towards a uh, USB thumb drive? And um, 
if it'll run a little bit faster here, it'll show us the option. So um, links will be in the description for that um, for you guys to go through. So it'll say upgrade this PC or would you like to create an installation media such as a USB flash drive, DVD, or an ISO file? Then you just click next. Um, it'll ask you if this is accurate or if it even allows you to choose anything and uh, you click on next. Or if, actually, if you hit uncheck, it'll allow you to change things. Okay, cool. So just then um, make sure you have your USB thumb drive plugged in, identify which letter is your USB thumb drive, then uh, go from there, then install it, then your ISO file. So that's basically it. And as soon as it's done, you will reset your computer and you will run from that USB stick. That's it, plain and simple. So I hope that this video was informative. Um, I hope that this video will help you out, especially with uh, Windows 10 has it has the in um, the software that's built in, so you can just reset it from there. It's actually really cool and easier that way. So it's kind of like in a way um, how Apple does it is they uh, have that integrated into the computer already and you can just easily reformat it. So in a way, they kind of stole the idea from Apple. But um, nonetheless, it's cool. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Slap a like, share it on all the social media, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I hope you all take care and see you guys in the next video. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.